Year 13, this is probably the hardest on you guys. Um, it's gonna be hard in year 11s, but um, they they have time to, to reset in September and hopefully get their college places, whereas there is a lot riding on these results for you. Um, your A results are gonna be based on teacher judgments. Um, which is going to be a combination of things. The exact combination of what it's going to be hasn't been fully announced yet. So the exam boards and teachers, um, teacher representatives are still in discussion about this, but it's probably going to be a combination of your predicted grades, your mock grades, and a teacher judgment on how well you're working in class. Now, I taught many many years and i am constantly surprised by at least one or two students in your class who have been a solid c the whole way through and then get that head down and they do work and they bring an a out the bag at the end and um that is not going to happen this year because it's all going to be teacher judgment and the pattern is going to be similar to other years so it's not as if you're all going to get a's and a stars suddenly overnight because the exam boards off call won't let that happen um, they're going to have to give reasons and I know a lot of teachers at the moment are saying keep rising, keep sending in um, like evidence, keep sending in, like keep doing practice papers and sending in evidence to us because we are going to need to prove to the exam boards that you are worthy of this grade. Um, it is not clear yet. The grades are going to be out before the end of July. So the exam boards are not going to have time to go and check everyone's mocks. Um, there just isn't enough time to get that all done. So we don't know what is going to happen yet. Now in this video I'm going to talk about what to do if you're happy with your grades and what to do if you are not happy with your grades. Um, if you're happy with your grades you've got five months off which might seem a good thing except you have five months off, got even six months off for some of you. Um, five months off stuck in your house with your nearest and dearest or nearest and not dearest um, which you know if you've got your own bedroom and a games console that's probably a nice few months for you if you share your bedroom with your multiple younger siblings um, you're probably going to be doing childcare for the next few months um, try, please try not to go completely insane while you're stuck inside the house. Get up every morning, have a shower, eat properly, try and get some exercise done. Put some makeup on if it makes you feel better. Um, even if there's nobody there to see it, if it makes you feel a little bit better and a little bit more human, then do it because this is going to be a tough few months to get through. Um, if you are not happy with your grades, then it is completely fair to feel angry about the situation. It is completely fair to feel that it's unfair that the government had taken something away from you that you've worked your whole life for. Um, it, you are allowed to feel like this, but the government has done this uh, to prevent thousands of deaths. So please, by all means, mourn. The, the loss of the exams that you are not sitting but after you've done that please try and put things into perspective um now there will be an appeals process for this and um exams can be sat in september which if you are relying on your grades to get into university is going to be too late for you now there unless they've literally released a statement while i've been recording this video the universities haven't said anything yet but a lot of universities oversubscribe their places so they will give out more places based on predicted grades um they will give out more offers based on predicted grades than they actually have places for because they want to ensure that those places are filled now if everyone who gets an offer gets a place universities are going to be oversubscribed so there is going to be a conflict going on there and how that is going to be resolved has not yet been cleared up for us. If you do not get, uh, before the end of July, if you do not get the grades that you need to get into university and you have to resit in September, um, that is going to be a bit late for you. Um, chances are your university place will have already gone, um, which is sad, really sad, I'm sorry. Um, there's literally nothing I can say to make you feel better about that. Um, you obviously have the option of like doing year 14, doing year 13 again, 
if your school will have you or if you can find a college um schools are unlikely to accept students who are just doing one or two a levels because they didn't get funding so you're probably going to have to do all three or repeat two and maybe do another one um so that schools get funding from the government for you um it did say in there that students could sit their exams in september or summer 2021 and my impression is summer 2021 was aimed at the a-level students that aimed at you guys that for a lot of you that are happy september is going to be too late to do anything about it and repeating a year is going to be the most viable option for a lot of you um if you do end up repeating the year then i will be here i have lots and lots of stuff on my website to help you um and it's gonna be really really tough guys and i'm really really sorry that this happened for you um yeah.